the framing of this is fucking wonderful what's this like join me on my quest to continue this fitness journey this is like the stairs continue the show must go on or, or what does this do this is this show you oh look what i wrote in the fucking um look what i wrote in the search bar lizard king apology i fucking messed that up it should have been liver king i wonder if we would we will get probably lizard king apology innit? when he does eventually come out will we get a lizard king apology maybe um is that is his name Lizard King? That guy that went to fucking is that the guy? Was he Lizard King or is he fucking Lion King? I don't know. The guy, the, the gay guy that went to jail for trying to murder that other Lion King woman. Was it Lizard King or was it Lion King? I don't know. That Netflix thing. Uh, that's another fucking show. That Brian, that Brendan Callum, fucking or Brendan Callum, that fucking Brendan Shaw fucking beat into the ground. Do you remember when he was fucking talking about that show every single day and making jokes about it? Like ten years after it fucking finished. Like leave us a fuck alone, man. Enough. Anyway, um, this is Liver King apologizing. Oh, yeah, sorry, Tiger King. Li I said Lion King. <laughs> oh, was it Lion King? <sighs> I'm making this video to apologize. Nigga make all that money. Nigga made all that money. He does, have a, he does have a microphone. He's recording this from the microphone off his camera. And he's reading a script that's on paper, like on the floor or something. This is a wild white boy, man. This is a wild white boy. <laughs> because I fucked up. Because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. Because I lied. And I misled a lot of people. By the way, what's that accent? Because I fucked up. Because I'm a... He kind of sounds like, you know that streamer XVX, XVC, QVC or whatever his name is. He's got that weird like somewhat european somewhat american accent like he's like he's like an international school student why does this guy sound like he's from eastern europe but also he could be from like connecticut and something like what is that <laughs> Thanks, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah they are in it let's just have that in frame in it the whole time why has he got that weird accent oh is that why he's canadian okay cool that's probably why then right he's from like ontario or something right he's got a very strange oh that's probably why he just sounds like that streamer because that streamer guy, isn't he from Belgium or something? Isn't he from Belgium? Is that from, is he from Belgium? Or is he from like, um, that QXE guy? Isn't he from Belgium or like Canada or something? I'm pretty sure. The one that speaks really, really fast. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't even put a t-shirt on for his apology. Essential. Let's see. I stated that this is a complicated as fuck topic, at least to me it is, because before social media, I was rich and anonymous, and after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. <laughs> Immediately from this video, you can understand why Brendan's defending him, innit? Why are you talking about your riches, family tree? This is not starting out the best in terms of apology. Okay, you're rich. Congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. Uh... Now, <laughs> who else did you scam <laughs> before you became famous to be rich? Can you let us know, please? Oh, Jesus Christ. And I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. It's been tricky as fuck to navigate. Well. Honestly, the production levels of this fucking apology is fucking incredible. You can barely hear him because he's talking through the microphone camera of whatever camera he's using. Probably just his iPhone. He's got it framed so that he's standing in front or sitting in front of this staircase, sitting on this weird leather chair that's probably full of mad back sweat and shit. Look like he's from Transylvania. And now he's like trying to sound natural, but he's clearly remembers some sort of script. This is terrible, man. Clearly, I did it wrong. And I'm here now to set the record straight. Yes. <laughs> YouTube aside, you see that? The YouTube apology side. Like, every single person before him. Like, fucking, um, what was it? What's his name? Logan Paul. Maybe not Jake Paul, because he probably doesn't give a fuck about apologizing, but many other people before him, who's ever girl, um, Tana Mongu, um, maybe a Jeffree Star's probably done it also, maybe uh, many other people, I can't think of, YouTubers have done the fucking quintessential YouTuber sigh. 
<laughs> I should show you're really sorry and apologetic. <sighs> I've done steroids, and yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. Yes, I've done steroids. Yes, I'm absolutely throbbing with steroids. I'm literally shaking in the chair right now, not in a work way or in those ways those fucking clappy girls do on Twitter. I'm actually shaking because I need to have another dose, but I'm currently speaking to you from the middle of my fucking Transylvania Dracula chair that is currently lifting me up three inches higher than the ground. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people. Oh, I love that. Liver King. Look at that. It's a little bit of a disassociated thing going on there, right? It can't be my fault because it was the Liver King. I'm Brian Johnson. You know, look at that. Clever, crafty cunt. It wasn't me. Huh. Third person things. People a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates with depression. That's how I know he's a cunt. And that's how it makes sense now why him and Brendan are so friends, are so, are so close. You get rumbled and you get exposed for being a liar and then you run to mental health. You try to excuse your lies off the back of mental health, an actual real issue plaguing people around the world, right? The, 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 the most downtrodden and naive who don't have the ability to pull themselves out of that mire, who don't have the ability to get help, who don't have the ability to have support around them or to afford it in any way, shape or form. That's who you took advantage of in terms of sending the money and that's how you are now using as a human shield to prevent you from being accountable for your actions. Great guy, never met him autoimmune anxiety infertility low ambition in life our young men are hurting you know it's funny also i'm listening to this on my headphones and the sound's only coming through on one ear <laughs> feeling lost weak and submissive so i made it my job to model teach and preach a simple elegant solution called ancestral living the nine ancestral tenants so our people no longer have to suffer is he going to give a dis is he going to give us a discount code at the end of this apology <laughs> <laughs> enter i'm sorry at checkout point to get 20 percent off of your minerals or whatever supplements you're shilling what a fucking prick we can collectively express our highest and most dominant form. This is my fight. This is why I exist. While spreading the message, I've been on several podcasts. And when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said, no, I don't touch the stuff. Not going to touch the stuff. Never touch the stuff. That was a lie. I've convinced myself. YouTuber sign number two that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message. I convinced myself that I'm not a competitive athlete of any kind, so who the fuck am I cheating? I convinced myself that this topic was a placeholder for a far more important conversation. I also, does anyone else think the aggressive nature that he has and the, the fucking, the, the unnecessary, like I just said there, the unnecessary, the unnecessary amounts of swearing and stuff, it feels a little bit, try hard isn't it like he's doing it like it's not natural like he's trying to look tough like he's trying to look edgy like he's trying to look hard like you know like you know i'm just a man i just say what i want to say mm -hmm. you don't like it you can hit the road or you can you know you can meet these guns right that, that, doesn't it feel like that he's kind of performing like i don't know what the fuck i'm doing with this sort of stuff and being all like like it feels a little bit try a little bit like he's trying to like it's like remember that bully in school everyone everyone's afraid of because he was the tallest kid in school for your age then you see him get smoked by some little guy and you're like oh shit he might be big but he's actually can't fight you know i mean he's actually not that strong in, in the slightest if he can get smoked by this dude that's like four feet taller than four feet shorter than him do you know what i mean it's, i don't know i feel like he's he's got a bit of that about him like i don't know i don't know if i like this like weird pretend bad boy thing that he has going on here at the moment like he's he's got that he's got the persona of um he's got the persona of a tim kennedy he's got that kind of tim kennedy thing about him <laughs> i 
convince myself that this would overshadow that 36 years of working out, usually twice a day, without PEDs. I've convinced myself that this was a vocal minority, usually in the fitness category, driving to an unproductive conversation. And I had convinced myself. To be fair, anybody with a lisp that looks like this, you should probably never trust, to be honest, in my opinion. That this would be the wrong message to send to the 15-year-old boys. So I continually dismissed it. 15-year-old boys? <laughs> what? That's a weird message to send, isn't it? What? It's 15. 15 year old boys. Hmm. S sir? What? Anyway, I'll just leave it. I'll leave it. I don't know. And I dug myself into a bigger and deeper hole. I have only myself to blame. I did that. And it was all wrong. I will be better. I will talk about it openly because I believe that there's a time and a place for pharmacological intervention monitored and managed by a trained hormone physician. In 2021, when I was 43 years old, I didn't feel 100% physically or cognitively. So I went to get monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician to see what the fuck was going on with my life. This apology is so badly constructed because if he just would have taken out that bit about him trying to use mental health as a, as a human shield and just said this diatribe that sounds fucking pathetic and try hard and scripted as hell, this would have been a far better apology. Just take out that mental health stuff and bin it, right? Just delete that bit. It's a much better apology. Simple as. And so, yes, it's true. I have tried several peptide combinations in an effort to increase my growth hormone and it didn't work, meaning that my levels still remained below the normal le level. So yes, it's also true that I've tried- Every time he points up, I, I, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm half expecting him to say, uh, and it's by the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ that I'm now here with you today. I, <laughs> I'm making this confession <laughs> to give my life to the one the true above. The true God, he's the only person that can judge me for my actions. I'm half expecting him to get into some sort of like Christian evangelical shit. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just too traumatized from going to church, but I'm half expecting every time he points up that he's going to start talking about Jesus. Like, you too should give your life to Christ. Enter, I'm sorry, and Jesus in the checkout to get 10% off. Pharmaceutical grade growth hormone, and I finally found success in managing therapeutic levels in the normal range. Yes. This is true. I've continued on with 0.6 cc's of testosterone per week, roughly 120 milligrams of testosterone a week. And no. <laughs> look at his eyes. Look at those sneaky eyes. Look at those sneaky eyes when he says it. Look at those. Look at his eyes. Watch, watch when he says it. Look at those sneaky eyes. That's him like trying to come to grips with the lies. Look at, this, look at his eyes. Roughly 120 milligrams of testosterone a week. <laughs> That's like those videos of those dogs that get caught in the kitchen eating the biscuits. Like, they do that thing with the eyes. Look, look at him. Cs of testosterone per week, roughly 120 milligrams of testosterone a week. I know. <laughs> I don't take any other steroids like Nandrolone or Winstrol, but I have tried them in the past. Without What's the point of even denying that stuff now, right? It's like when you get caught for being a drug addict or something. No, I did not do meth. I did not sip lean. I just did a bunch of coke and I just did a bunch of crack. That's it. There's no point of like, fest there's no point of clearing that up. Just, you know, it is. What <laughs> Let people assume what they want. Like, no, I didn't do heroin. I just stuck to the meow meow. Heroin, I didn't touch. <laughs> it's like, what? Out success. Yes, it's also true that my blood chemistry got all fucked up while taking Nandrolone and Winstrol. My lipids got all deranged. My liver enzymes. Again, with the, f the finger pointing upstairs, is that is that a weird tick of him being disassociated for saying like, the guy up there, him, the other the guy, the, the guy I left upstairs in a body bag. <laughs> like what? Went sky high, which is why clinical oversight is an absolute must. Nope. The 
Liver King brand has had nothing or at least very little to do with my business success. My companies were already kicking ass, already successful before the Liver King public figure, growing at 50% year over year and still growing at the same pace after the Liver King public figure. <laughs> nope, I've never had ab implants, ab etching, or any other plastic surgery, and I sure as fuck never actually had gene editing done in Singapore. I made all of that up. It was all intended to be a joke, and that's an expression of ancestral tin and tin. Have a little goddamn fun. Ultimately, why did I or why do I do them? When I talk about the 85% of the population that suffers. YouTube assigned number three. I, I went in there late there. That was a bit fucking shit. I was like DSP trying to load up his fucking animations. But fuck, anyway, that was site number three from self-esteem issues. That's me. I'm part of that statistic. This is why I fucking work myself to death. Mental health, self-confidence, self-worth. Look at this fucking lying scumbag. He's now using that as a fucking human shield to protect himself, right? Mental health. I was depressed. I'm trying to save people from suicide. Now he's trying to go for self-worth. I didn't I, I was always considered fat in school. I was always bullied. Yeah, 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 you lying sack of shit. Just admit it and move on. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's not my fault, baby, that I fell into those girl that I fell into that girl's coochie. It was you. You won't give me the attention that I needed. That one time I wanted to fuck and you wanted to go to sleep. That's what drove me to go to the whorehouses. <laughs> <laughs> death in the gym this is why i do 12 to 15 blood burning workouts a week just to feel like i'm okay still i have to absolutely crush myself to do so and i'm wrecked physically and cognitively and hormone replacement has helped in a profound and significant way and still i believe i'm just so much of a badass that i had to take it i was crushing workouts so badly legitimately like doing four days four days right some people do two a days that's when you do a workout in the am and you do a workout in the pm for you civilians out there that don't know about working out and aren't as successful as him and fucking brendan shaw but that's that's what two a day means am and pm workout but he was doing four a days where you do two workouts in the am and two in the pm he was crushing life so bad crushing life so bad that that fucking jesus christ up there right that jesus christ up there told him you have to take some drugs you have to take some peds you have to take something man you are crushing it so bad your companies are crushing it so bad before the liver king right that's what you have to do you have to do that so bad come on man believe that the path to paradise is paved in fucking hell i previously have said in a weird way i'm grateful for the recent events that have shed light on this complicated as fuck topic on your lie that shed light on your lie on your lie just say it motherfucker Sp shed light on your lie say it be proud right i'm black and i'm proud say it i'm lying and i'm not proud i'm a liar and i got fucking exposed say it say it <laughs> i knew i knew isn't the first part of moving on and healing and growing as a person when you lie is just to admit to it and just say yep i lied we all do it just lie just fucking admit it admit it you lied admit it simple I needed to take this opportunity to openly discuss everything for me to be a better human if there are any questions that remain unanswered send them my way i fully own that i fucked up i I'm as sorry as a man can be. And all I can do is take extreme ownership right now, be better, and leave myself. That's a great book by Joko Willink. Make sure you buy it. To a better life as a better human. Again, thank you to everyone for the support, the criticism, the love, the hate, and above all else, the loyalty. Liver King. Jesus Christ. Oh, that, that chair must smell like fucking shit. Did you hear that sound when he joined? <laughs> Holy shit. That chair must smell like fucking shit. Yo, white people be lying, innit, right? White people be lying, man. White people be lying. You've got fucking... you got S, you got this guy, the SBF guy, right? FTX guy. you got Liver King. White people be lying, yo. You white people be lying and it be making you guys money. Black person lies, everyone fucking gets the fuss. You know what I mean? Black person comes out says they love Hitler, everyone suddenly gets a whole tizzy. 
not the same thing, but not kind of the same thing. <laughs>